My name is Molly Thompson Smith. I'm a climber, and these are the things that shaped me. So my first item is my medal from the European Championships in 2020. And this is really important to me because it came at a difficult time. It was the pandemic year, which was hard for everyone. And I had a lot of doubts and lacked confidence in that year. And this event was held in a place where I'd actually previously experienced racism. So to kind of have a positive memory from that place to replace that negative experience meant a lot to me and my family. So the next thing I brought along is a picture from that competition of the mask I wore at that European Championships, which had a Black Lives Matter fist and logo on it. And this was really important and influential for me because it was kind of the first time I felt as an adult that I'd use my platform um, as an athlete to talk about something that was important to me. And especially in that country at that competition with so many people watching online at home during the pandemic, it felt like a bold move. I felt empowered and it was nice. I felt like this is what I can do as an athlete. This is how I can really make the most of this really privileged, special opportunity I have as someone with a platform. So the next item I've bought is a bit of a blast from the past actually, but my old iPod shuffle with USB. It's still got songs on it from when I was like 10, I think. I brought this today because it kind of symbolizes the importance of music in my culture, in my climbing. In climbing, we have this thing called isolation for the semi-final and final rounds, and that's where you can't see anyone else's performance. And when you're in this room, you're not allowed to have any devices that have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. So this old school um, iPod is actually perfect for it. My next item is a picture of my dad, who is incredibly special to me. And I think in this picture, you can kind of see like the mutual respect we have for each other. Like, he just thinks I'm amazing, which is really cute and really sweet. And I just think he's amazing as well. And he's, he's been there through, through it all from the start. And when I was a kid, especially, he must have been the only parent of color at all of the competitions, all of the trainings. And if he did feel uncomfortable, he never showed it to me, which gave me the space to then feel comfortable myself and continue doing all the competitions and showed me that it was okay to be different. Um, because if he was uncomfortable, he could have easily just said, nope, we don't like climbing, it's not for us, and just moved on to another sport. But he kind of like persevered through that and made the space there for me. Um, so I'll forever be grateful for him for that because it's allowed me to fall in love with climbing and make it my career and, and hopefully inspire change in the community too. Next thing I brought along is my tangle teaser. Um, and this symbolizes me embracing my curls um, and I guess embracing my identity as a mixed race climber in that community. I always wanted to hide my hair, I would straighten it. There weren't any other kids that looked like me when I was climbing when I was younger, whether that was skin tone or hair. And the hair was just like the most obvious difference between me and the rest of the kids. Even as I entered the World Cup circuit, like there was not a single person who looked like me. Um, and the hair was the thing that kind of, that people would ask to touch or people would comment on. And it was that thing that always reminded me that I was different. So it was something I wanted to try and hide. I wanted to just be like everyone else. I wanted simple straight hair and I didn't want to be any more different than I already felt. 2020 was a big year. Um, I'd started embracing my cars a little bit before then, but that year I really decided that this was kind of, it was kind of a tool to be used, like the platform thing. Like I could be the person that other younger mixed race girls or girls with thick curly hair needed to see in the climbing community to feel more comfortable and to feel like they belonged. That kind of belonging community value was something that I didn't really have when I was younger. So yeah, a few years ago I decided that why couldn't it be me who was that person that was there to give that to others.